Don, hello again. Well, you could be taking your pictures in anything from blazing sunshine to pouring rain today, a typical British mix of weather. But last month's weather was anything but typical. We saw records tumbling all over the place. In fact, Scotland and Northern Ireland saw their warmest April for at least 40 years. We saw temperatures uh, broken on many places on the 16th. There was some rain around, but it was a largely dry month, most of the rain coming at the beginning and end of the month. But it was real ups and downs. Harden in that North Wales saw its lowest nighttime temperature in April since 1996, while just a few days later in Wolverhampton, we saw the highest temperature ever recorded, 27.3 Celsius. Records here going back to 1949. And Cardiff, well, beat the rest of Europe for a time, 27 Celsius, again a record here, and well ahead of Athens, Rome, and also Paris. But there was a downside to all that, uh, the strong sunshine reacting with fumes from cars and lorries meant that the government had to issue a high pollution warning for ozone levels across southern England and we saw those forest and moorland fires raging across many areas. I saw the results in South Wales last week and it doesn't look too pretty. Temperatures so this afternoon beginning to rise now quite pleasantly, 23 Celsius possibly in parts of the southeast of England. That's the low 70s Fahrenheit, but those high temperatures encouraging the pollen production, getting up into the height category across East Anglia and the southeast through this afternoon. Much lower elsewhere partly because it's rather wet, a pretty miserable day for Northern Ireland, that rain moving up across Scotland as well, and it'll continue for a good part of tonight. We might just catch a thundery shower across the far southeast for a time as well, but that'll tend to move away. And then this area of low pressure moving in towards the end of the night means it could be a fairly miserable day, I think, on Monday, the Bank Holiday Monday, of course, across the northwest of Scotland, strong and cold winds blowing down into Northern Ireland as well, bringing a fair number of showers and even some longer spells of rain. Elsewhere, a scattering of showers, some sunshine in between. If you can get in the sunshine, it should feel reasonably pleasant. Top temperatures probably in the south at around 19 degrees. Tuesday, looking quieter just about everywhere. One or two showers, but not very many. Most places managing to stay dry. But the cloud will thicken up across the northwest, eventually bringing some rain here as this weather system begins to move in from the Atlantic as the day goes on. And then becoming stuck, really, across northern parts into Wednesday. So at Wednesday, looking rather cloudy, looking rather wet at times across Northern Ireland and much of Scotland. Probably the heaviest of the rain across more western areas, whereas for much of England and Wales, it's a dry picture. Might just see some rain clipping in from the near continent, but elsewhere, lots of dry weather to be found. And again, those temperatures probably just a little bit above the average. Looking ahead towards the end of the week, Thursday a bit of a problem. We've got this weather system pushing in from the northwest, another one trying to nudge in from the southeast. We're not quite sure what the result will be at the moment, but eventually things pushing through a more mobile look to things by the end of the week. So we could see some rain almost anywhere on Thursday, sunshine and showers by Friday. So that's your forecast. Next week, just a reminder, country file extending to an hour. The weather, though, is still at its usual time at around 5 to 12. See you then.